This video is sponsored by Shuwen. Making videos can get expensive. So for us, we primarily use a Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro G2 to film our videos. But to make it work, you need a lens, you need batteries, you need an SSD to record, a top handle, a side handle. The price tag gets over $10,000 like crazy fast. But what if I told you you could do most of the same things with the phone that's in your pocket and this? So this is the Shuin Smooth XS. It's a follow-up to a gimbal we actually did a whole video on, uh, the Smooth X. Uh, this guy is incredibly simple and easy, and for 75 bucks, you get a really nice kit of the gimbal, the tripod, and a carrying case. And setting this thing up is, is also incredibly easy. So power button on the side, turn it on, blinks, put up the arm, pop in your phone. In this case, we're pairing it with a white iPhone SE. I just thought the white and the white looked really good. And also wanted to show that for around 500 bucks, the phone and the gimbal, you get a really amazing, capable you know, video set without having to break your bank, or in our case, spend $10,000 on a camera. I wanted to show you some of the shots you can get with this combination to show that you don't have to do it on a really expensive camera. I know a lot of folks out there are looking to start their own YouTube channel, looking to get sort of cinematic sweeping shots. And the general thought is you have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars. And if you have good equipment, you know how to use it, keep that money in your pocket. that shot through the wall, if we wanted to sort of do that with a traditional camera, uh, we could use Shuwen's own Crane 3S, cost about 700 bucks, or use other gimbals that cost upwards of 4,500. So gimbals like that traditionally are three axis. With the Smooth XS, you've got two axis. And the third isn't really necessary because it's utilizing the phone's own stabilization. So you can see as I twist my wrist, it stays. Then the other one, you can actually rotate the whole phone. You don't have to really worry that much about a tilt because it utilizes the phone's own stabilization. So that shot looks pretty simple, but trying to do that with a cinema camera and any of those gimbals I talked about, uh, it's gonna come down to two things, size and price. Uh, those blue pillars are incredibly close together and trying to get a cinema camera and a really big gimbal through them uh, is going to be next to impossible. All right, to some people might use an easy rig or a ready rig with two big handles across the top. That's another $2,000 that could accomplish what we just did with this. All right, so the Smooth XS has a couple modes. Uh, first one is PF mode, essentially it's a pan mode. You can control it with your wrist. You twist your wrist and the phone will rotate and stay on that even plane. So the next goes into L mode, it's a lock mode. You push the M button once and it's gonna lock everything down and the phone is going to stay locked really no matter what you do or how you move it. This is my favorite mode to play with, if we're being honest. You ever seen a chicken try to turn his head? Smooth playing field. In any of these modes too, there's a joystick which you can control and you can let it do some little manual motions if you're into that thing. And obviously you don't always want to shoot in sort of landscape mode. Sometimes you want to slew in portrait. Two clicks on the M button, a little magic happens, and then you've got that and all of you have your same stabilization, the same mode you had before, just in portrait mode. You can even pull it up a little bit, extend it, and get kind of that selfie angle get that shot you want. All right, so the last mode, and probably one of the coolest ones, is POV mode. So you tap the M button four times, and it'll activate all of the axes for you, sort of giving you sort of the full control and all the motors working on your gimbal. 
So obviously when you're panning, it'll move with you, but when you're tilting, it'll also move with you. All right, so that's pretty good, but uh, there's one more shot that I want to try. That's a shot I've been wanting to do for a while, but to get something like that with a cinema camera, uh, you're gonna need like a jib and a track like they use on Hollywood sets, or you're gonna need a really heavy slider. Probably wouldn't be able to have the door closed. You have to sort of fake it with the door open and it just gets really expensive. And I'm talking like price of most car level expensive to get that with a cinema camera. And we just did it on something for under 500 bucks. I imagine if I took that shot, edited it and graded it, inside of a clip that had other cinema shots bookending it, you probably wouldn't even know it's filmed with an iPhone SE. So I haven't touched too much on the app yet, but you'll need it to get started. Uh, it's called ZY Cami. It's obviously available for iOS or Android. You can do a ton of stuff inside of that app. I mean, you can do live streaming, panoramic photos, uh, and a ton more, but probably my favorite, aside from the really cool hyperlapse, uh, is a mode called gesture mode. So if I turn on gesture mode, stand in front of the camera, wave my hand, it'll start counting down, three, two, one, uh, and now it's going to start following me if I want it to, and it's gonna keep things nice and smooth. So no matter where I go, it's gonna always get that really smooth shot. If you're farther away, you can use the zoom that's built into the gimbal. Obviously when you're out shooting, it's nice to have a crew, but a lot of times you don't, or you're a one-man operation, you still want the ability to get those really smooth shots, maybe doing a narration, while you're talking. This is where something like having a gimbal like the Smooth XS is really gonna come in handy. So I think a lot of times people underestimate the ability of the cameras built into their phones. So I'm not advocating like replacing a cinema camera for Hollywood movies with this setup, but it is really nice to sort of have in addition to those cameras, or if you wanna shoot YouTube videos yourself, you can do a lot and there's a lot of power with just the camera on your phone and a gimbal. Like I said, if you use some of these clips and you edit it, you grade it, and you put it next to really cinema level clips, chances are you would never know the difference, but you save the money of having to buy a jib or an easy rig or expensive slider, you know, with just something that costs $75. Uh, it shouldn't be the only tool in a filmmaker's toolkit, uh, but it really is an essential one, one that's always with us whenever we're out filming. If you wanna learn more, or you wanna check out the Shoe Win Smooth XS, we'll link to it down below.